All right, take two. So this is going to be Death Guard. Hi, I'm Siegfried Alexander Lift. Let's get into it. Warhammer 40k. So I have some controversial choices here. One, I have brought the Dildo Drill. And it's going to have 10 mixed uh, melee-based Plague Marines in here. B uh, big spooky with all their different melee options. Loving it. And then it's going to have a Biologist Putrefire and a Foul Blight Spawn inside as well. Because um, it could fit 12. Now... It's going to be Ferryman. The reason I had to double check is and fix that so I have to re-upload this is Ferryman um, has an access to a stratagem which can add 6. So it can give the uh, Foul Blight Spawn Fight Last Aura on 9 inches. So you can really just force your opponent if they charge into you that you attack first anyway. And so even if your dudes fail to charge or more so you don't even have to charge if you don't want to but you know still do it. But you can make a force Fight Last which is pretty nutty. Um, Lord Contagion, just to give them some buffs, he has, if he gets an unmodified, I believe, wound roll of 6, it counts as 2 additional mortals because of his pathogen and relic, which is pretty funny. I have uh, 3 single model chaos spawn, uh, all these little hentai mon are just literally supposed to hold an objective, they're supposed to just go somewhere and sit there and be annoying so my opponent has to dictate fire and try to get rid of them while they also do things. Um, furthermore... There's the Mephitic Blight Haulers. Now, these are an executive decision by me. I think you can just run a bunch of Plague Marines, and that's just fine. They're good. They were even better with AOC, my god. But you could run Death Guard a lot of different ways. Unfortunately, because of how slow they are and etc., it's just they just don't slap very hard right now. Um, there is a Melta check you can do with this army in the sense that if your opponent is melee-based and they don't have Melta, or even if they're just very psychic-based they don't have Melta, you're going to do pretty decent with all these Mephetic Blight Haulers. They're anti-melee, um, they're T7, and they reduce damage. So if it's not strength 8, high damage, you're going to be having a good time. There's two Bla uh, Plague Burst Crawlers as well, and... Overall, I think the army is very fun. It's very simple. Except for these things. This is a really good build, but damn, does it like... Like, every two of them have different weapons. They're all mixed different weapons, so it, it could take a hot minute just to separate these guys. Uh, but honestly, yeah, with the changes made, I, I don't think it's that terrible. It's just that they need some love right now, unfortunately. Um, not a whole lot, but just a bit. Controversial thing. Um... If they get it, I think they'd be back to midfield. The thing is, is they go up and down a lot. Like, they'll get a, a buff, a nerf, a buff, a nerf. Two buffs. It's like, honestly, it's like two buffs, big nerf. Two decent buffs, big nerf. And so, it's kind of funny. Or they get an indirect thing. Uh, honestly, I would love to see more Death Guard. I just feel like right now, I don't want to play them. Uh, because, just, they get outshone and outshined by many other things. Uh... And I would like to not run all these freaking vehicles. I think while the Mephitic Bite Haulers are fun, I think it'd be better to run different things. But it's just, they don't, I don't know. You, you'd have to risk a lot. And I just got problems. Also, for the Biologist Putrefire, um, he has Blake Skull of Gothala. And let's see, Disgustingly Resilient. And Foul Light Spawn has Putrefine Sink. In Ox no, I forget. I, f I didn't remember if they gave him the special bonuses. The Plague Burst Crawlers, of course, have the Entropy Cannons and Heavy Sluggers. Um, yeah, if you want to play Death Guard, honestly, there's a lot of different ways to build. This is a list I would recommend, though, if you don't know how to start. And you can probably get some good results with this. And if your opponent doesn't have enough Melta to compensate, you're going to be giving them a hard time. And then technically, even if they do, the uh, Blight Haulers have an Envil. So they have a good chance to shrug, or at least a chance. So... You know, you can, if the dice gods are on your side, you will still crush your opponent. And it can be surprising to Dogans for all these people that love the melee factions. With that said, if you like this video and my content, please, please, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you want this army, this and every other faction is down below in the description box where you can check out the Google Drive link where all the battle scribe lists are there. Uh, and I'll be making a mod eventually where you can just get this for free on Tabletop Simulator. It's all pretty yellow scribe right here. With that said, Thank you very much for checking out my content, and uh, game on gamers. Bye.